Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to unbox the GeForce RTX 3060 and this is an uh, MSI card for Gaming X model. So we're going to see uh, what is inside this box and what the graphic is like. Now lately, it's very hard to get this kind of card because there is a real shortage um, in the market due to um, crypto mining lots of people buying graphic cards so there's not many cards available all right so i've just put this one out of the box and this is a package small package containing um, user guide so let's see what is inside this box here so how to upgrade your pc with a new graphic card so some instruction uh, with some uh, comic uh, drawing in here okay um so let's see what else some instruction a uh, quick user guide um, you can read that seeing how you can upgrade your graphic card and this is the actual graphic card itself it is um covered inside an anti-static bag cut itself is quite heavy and quite large so i'm just going to open it up right here Okay, so let's just um, take a look at this card and we're gonna pull it out. Okay, so this is the card right here MSI GeForce RTX 3060. Quite a powerful card, not tough the range, but still um, it's quite a powerful uh, card. The fan is uh, super quiet, I can't even hear anything. And here is the side of the card. At the bottom here is quite fully covered. You can actually see the electronics on the inside anymore. And at the back here, there are four different ports. So if we pull it out, it's got four um, HDMI at the back here. And this is the power unit input for the card. Okay, so it's require eight pins and another another six pins. So altogether, you need to have fourteen pins for this card. Okay, so here we've got the D right here. So that is the display port. So you got one, two, three display port and one. HDMI port right here Okay, so when you buy the graphic card, just make sure that you have the right cable as well for this card Okay, so here we got the chips and it is covered in this uh, plastic And we're going to um, install this into a computer and later we're going to test it out uh, Running a, a flight simulator because the flight simulator um, can use quite a lot of uh, graphic uh, power So we're just going to test this card and see how smooth to uh, flight a uh, flight simulator. Now this is the old gigabyte graphic card I'm, I don't have. I'm going to replace this one. So I'm going to pull it off, off my computer. Now first, we're going to unplug the power cable to the card. So we're going to unplug the two power cable. And here I'm going to Unscrew the screw right here. Now the cut is going to take up two slots, so that's why uh, we have two screw here. It's taking up two slots on the PC. Okay, now we're just gonna uh, pull it out. Now some some on some computer there is a latch that you need to release. So for example, this one here, sometimes you need to pull it out like that. So make sure that you pull out the latch and then we can uh, lift up the graphic card. Okay, I'm just going to lift up this old graphic card. It's a little bit dusty and we're going to put in a new one. Okay, so we're going to put in a new card. Alright, so I'm just going to uh, put it in. Okay, so now we're going to put this card into the PC. And again, make sure this latch is open 
and we're going to slot it in okay it should go in nice and easy no need to force it if you force it you might damage the pins on the card so just push it down gently and once it go into place we're going to lock it with the screws right here Locked in here. So make sure this is locked. And now we're going to plug in the power cable to this one. And then we're going to plug in this six plug power cable. Okay, so it's nice and secure now. Okay, so now we've got the MSI GeForce RTX 3060 installed into the PC. So let's uh, boot it up and test it out. Alright, so I'm going to go into Microsoft Flight Simulator and change the graphic setting. And we're going to increase the settings from low to high end. So you can see at the moment it's like 120 frames per second. So I'm just going to change it to high end, which um, theoretically should drop the frame rate down quite a bit. And here you can see the graphic is still quite smooth, even on high quality. And the plane is now flying nice and smooth, no lagging at all. I'm just going to maneuver it around so you can see um, the graphic quality. Very nice, give you a very decent uh, frame rate with Microsoft Flight Simulator and that's it thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more videos